So you wanna learn how to start recording YouTube videos. That's awesome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily set up your living room to start recording professional looking YouTube videos for yourself. I'm gonna show you how to set up the room, how to set up lighting, and some tips to help you get started so you can start making YouTube videos today. All right, so step one is you need to clean up your room. So basically, you really just need to clean up the area behind the camera that's gonna be in shot. So for this video, you'll see I tidied up my couch, cleared off the table, and I made sure my TV wasn't paused in some random show. The second thing you wanna do is to pick where you're gonna be in the shot. So right now, I'm actually just kneeling in front of the camera so you can see my couch and my table behind me. Basically, this is totally up to you, but one tip you should consider is always adding some depth or distance between you and the wall behind you. So if you can see, there's a bunch of room behind me. What that does is it allows your camera to really focus in on you and it gives you a little bit of a blurred background effect if you have a wide open aperture, which looks pretty cool. So once you've decided on your shot, you'll see I just put a chair here, I'm sitting down. This looks pretty good, I think. You got me, I'm being pretty well lit, I got the background behind me, it's neat and tidy. I'm ready to start filming a YouTube video, but before I can, you gotta make sure that your lighting is set up. So right now, I'm sitting in front of a big window, but it's an overcast day, so I also have two key lights going. One light here, one light there. Cheap Amazon lights, I'll put a link in the description. Basically, you wanna make sure you have some element of consistent lighting, because clouds will move, but you're still filming, so you don't wanna be super dark for a long portion of the video. So for me, like I said, I have one light here to my left, one light there to my right, and I also have a pretty big window that's doing a pretty good job lighting up the room behind me. So you could get pretty creative. You could use a single light, you could use a single window if it's a bright sunny day, or you can use two lights lighting you from the front and one light shining on you hidden somewhere in the back to give you a nice ring of light around your head. That's a really cool effect that a lot of YouTubers use. The next thing you need to set up before you start recording is your audio. So you'll notice, I'm actually using an external microphone plugged into my Zoom pod track. This just gives really good audio quality and I really like it. But I also have a shotgun microphone mounted to my camera that's picking up background audio just in case I forget to turn this guy on. So that's actually the next tip. Make sure your audio is on recording and the levels are appropriately set because nobody wants to record an entire video and then forget that they didn't turn on the audio. So now that you've picked your room, where you're gonna be situated in the room, figured out your lighting and your audio, you're gonna need a tripod. If you're using your phone, you could even use one of these little mini Gorilla Pods. They're relatively inexpensive. You just want your camera to be stable at the right level to get you and the background for your shot. Once you've done that, if you're using auto settings, you just hit record and record. If you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, I would set the lowest F number, The biggest, widest aperture, and then fiddle with the, the ISO setting based on the lighting in the room. So typically you would start from the lowest number and work your way up. As you move up, the light, the camera becomes sensitive to more light. And then your shutter, shutter speed. Shutter speed is basically gonna be double the frame rate that you're filming with on your camera. So for this video, I'm filming at 24 frames per second. So my frame rate set in my camera is 48 frames per second. Once you dial that in, hit record, you're good to go. And that is pretty much it. That is how simple it is to film a YouTube video in your living room. So now you have no reason to procrastinate anymore. Get your camera, get your room clean, tidy, set up, set up your gear and start recording. Till next time. Cheers guys.